We need to talk. Especially on YouTube, there's been a big push toward medical preparedness lately. And that's a good thing, right? Right? Well, I see a few problems. First, you have laymen with no formal education and no real-world experience selling you medical training. And that really isn't a good idea for obvious reasons. Then you have other people that are repackaging and rebranding others' medical equipment and supplies, passing it off as their own, and nearly doubling the price. The truth is, they're taking advantage of you. And they're selling you on a fantasy. What do you mean, selling me on a fantasy? Well, if you've looked around lately, there's been a big movement toward the partisan fighter, the Minuteman, and dare I say it, the militia. Ooh, you see, I don't care about the YouTube algorithm. I can say it again if I want to. The militia. Oh man, that's liberating, isn't it? The militia. And that these people are going to be in some form of a without rule of law situation and they're going to be fighting in searcher fantasy the blue helmets the zombies the red coats the deep state and they're going to be running through the hills and all is going to be fine because they have their medic trained by a youtube personality trained by a youtube personality and they have their ifax Here's a harsh reality for you. If you get shot in the core with a rifle, you are going to die. Let's repeat that. You are going to die. And I know the new cool guy thing is we don't need armor. We don't need plate carriers. But that is actually the only thing that is going to save you. When you get shot in the core, and you don't have things like an Aravac and a trauma surgeon, a CT surgeon, an anesthesiologist, and a surgical suite equipped with supplies and assistive personnel, IV antibiotics and a ventilator. When that's not waiting for you and you take a round somewhere important, you're going to die. And when that person goes down, it's not just him out of the fight. It's the medic and probably at least one other guy work on you and when your group is five or ten people that could be a third of the force down right there trying to hopelessly save you but let's pretend that the best medical care in the world is available to your buddy that gets shot somebody's gonna ask some questions and when your buddy has 10 milligrams of morphine and two of Ativan pumping through his veins and Brandon sends his goons they're going to get answers he's going to die of lethal injection and he's probably going to give you up and you and your whole team are going to die of lethal injection maybe you should have contingency plans before that happens and let's say you get shot in an extremity you get hit in the arm or the leg and you go well I've got my tourniquet I'm good. Again, you don't have a trauma suite and all the people to go with it. You're reverting back to Civil War era medicine. And all you can do in the end, cut that limb off and cauterize it. Hope there's no infection, because an infection means you're going to die. And your fish antibiotics probably aren't going to cut it. So you need to think about these things before you go pick up a rifle. Because in this situation, all the training in the world and all the IFAX aren't going to help. You're still going to die. So maybe, just maybe, get your training from somebody other than a YouTube personality. And I don't say this stuff to discourage you from medical preparedness. Quite the opposite. But if you're going to get that training, Get it from somebody that's done this stuff for real. 
I'm going to tell you, it's not cool, and it's not fun, and it's not glamorous. Until you've worked on somebody for hours and hours knowing it's futile, or you've rolled somebody over off a backboard and watched the brains gush out of the back of their head, you really don't know what it's like. You really don't know what it's like. But think about that before you buy training from somebody that's inexperienced. And before you pick up a rifle to fight the blue helmets or whoever it is. Because it's not fun. It's not glamorous and it's not glorious. It's hard. Bye for now.